What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Games right back at you with another comic book video haul. This is 023 in the library. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I got another big haul for you to show you, to show y'all. So, uh, so yeah, let's just get this whole, this whole thing started. All right. First off, let's just uh, start off with this, the newer comics I picked up in the past two weeks. Uh, first off, I got this off, uh, Oni's website. This is Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons, and this is the sneak preview edition. So um, yeah, these had these they had these on sale for ten dollars a piece, and they might still have some if you want to go check out the Oni Press website. Um, but yeah, this is just a like I said a sneak preview edition of uh, of Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons. So it's just awesome, awesome cover. I like how he's holding the Broombus stick, which is pretty fucking hilarious. <laughs> so I ended up picking up three of these bad boys up. So hell yeah, Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons, indeed. All right, moving on. Picked up this awesome Bill Sienkiewicz, uh, Batman Kings of Fear, number one. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous cover, variant cover. And uh, yeah, I'm just digging the black and white. So yeah, love love me some Sienkiewicz. All right, moving on. I uh, picked up the, the Joker uh, and Daffy Duck, number one. Uh, just, you know, it's an awesome Joker Joker cover. Had to pick it up. Why not? All right. Next up. Uh, Moon Girl and Devon Dinosaur, number 34, which is the first full, full appearance of Devon Dinosaur. Oh, uh, eh, picked it up because it's the first appearance. Why not? All right. Picked up Wonder Woman, number 52. Another uh, Jenny Frizen variant. Um... And also picked up uh, 53, uh, also Jenny Fraser. It's just awesome, awesome covers, especially this one. I really like this one a lot. Gorgeous. All right. Next up, picked up some Middleton, Middleton goodness. This is Batgirl 26. Another cover he kills. I just love how he switches his style up. It's freaking awesome. So, so this one is, is pretty damn. I just love the color scheme on this with the black, orange, and, and just the white background. So. Very, very minimal and very uh, effective, in my opinion. Uh, and then uh, I pre-ordered these a little while back, and I finally got it in, like a, maybe like two weeks ago, or a week ago, right after my uh, last haul. So I picked up one, two, three, four, five of these, sticking with Middleton. So, so yeah, I see how different you could just draw. It just all look the same, you know, just, just the style. It's just freaking awesome. So, you know, it can be realistic. So it's just like a... It's art deco type so this is very i just love middleton style so like i said i picked five of these bad boys up pre-ordered these and uh just yeah i think this is a stunning cover it's just i don't know some people hate it but i love it and it's all that matters right it's what i love <laughs> i'm buying it all right uh <laughs> sticking with bad girl i uh, found this still on the shelves too uh this is a uh, bad girl 22 another middleton cover so yeah, awesome, awesome. Reminds me of like a has like a jock feel with all the bats flying in the background. So gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, picked up uh, Tony Stark Iron Man, the Fantastic Four variant by Adam Hughes. Had to pick that up. Huge Adam Hughes fan, of course. And I also picked up the Weapon H number six, uh, J. Scott Campbell, um, Fantastic Four variant. So yeah, pretty badass. Yeah, I love her four in, the, in her chest. <laughs> All right, moving on. Picked up uh, Venom of One. This is the third printing variant. Uh, just an awesome cover. Um, forgetting who, what the, or who the artist is on this, but it's just a gorgeous cover. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm loving how they, these uh, third and second and fourth printings that they're putting out so of, of the Venom series. So. And sticking with the third printing, Oh, this is actually the second printing. This is Venom number three, uh, which is the first appearance of Null or Cameo or something like that. But, but you know, pretty awesome cover. Check that out. And the last new book that I picked up this past couple of weeks, or this past week actually, is this book, This is which is pretty hot. This is Venom First Host. Uh, yeah, this cover is just amazing. And uh, yeah, I, I was lucky enough to pick one up and this one's in immaculate condition. I'm, this is definitely being sent to CGC, especially for a black cover. And uh, there's no ticks or anything on this thing. So I was happy enough to be able to pick that up from LCS. All right, moving on. Uh, the next few books I found on eBay. 
I believe these these lots were I believe twelve dollars for, for five books. So I picked up two different lots. And uh, first lot was all well. The both lots are how do you know how you pronounce this? Shaharazad. So first lot came with uh, number four. This is a San Diego 2015 uh, exclusive. So pretty badass cover. Uh, it's another number four. Uh, another, another variant. Um, another number four. Number number four. This is a this is a torque variant, and the reason why I got it was because uh, this one. This is number four as well. This is J. Scott Campbell cover. Pretty damn awesome. So uh, that's the lot one, and for the second lot, sticking with uh, Shahar Razad, I picked up this lot. This was also twelve dollars, and it came with number five. I mean, these are all J. Scott Campbell covers, so I didn't have any of these. So I, that's why I picked it up. Um, number four, which I already have, so I have a double that, which came in the same lot, but which is fine. Um, number three, gorgeous. Uh, I really love this cover. I, I, that's why I think this is why I really wanted it. <laughs> this is number two. It's an awesome, awesome cover. And also, uh, finally, number one. So that's not pretty. That's pretty good. Uh, for, I mean, what, twelve dollars for five of them. So that's. Not too bad. All J. Scott Campbell covers for this lot. So, yeah. So I actually bought both those at the same time to save on shipping. So that's probably why I did that. <laughs> but yeah, check it out. Pretty awesome. All right, moving on. Uh, next off, next up, I uh, went to a, uh, a yard sale here uh, around my neighborhood. Uh, it was a pretty big yard sale, and the, the guy selling um, comic books. It was just all comic books at his, at his yard sale. So, but he knew what he had. He put up. He had a. His whole backyard was set up for with, um, you know, with wall books, and uh, he also had, um, but uh, some other back issues. But his big sale was. Uh, he said he had about like fifty long boxes of like fifty cent comics, and then maybe like maybe ten other long boxes of just dollar comics. So that was a. It was a huge sale, and uh, I I got there. I was one of the first ones there. I was about. Probably only only five or six of us total that were there in the beginning. So, um, but yeah, like I said, but he kind of knew what he had already. I mean, he knows what's hot and what's not. So, um, so I, I mean, I went through his boxes and found a few things. So, so let me show you what I what I picked up. All right. First off, we're all fifty cent comic books. Um, picked up Ferris number one. Picked it up because Adam Hughes. Okay. Pick up another Adam Hughes cover. This is a uh, Batman number one. I can't leave a 50 cent. You know what I'm saying? 50 cent Adam Hughes goodness. Uh, another Adam Hughes uh, cover. This is X Men Classic number 71. 50 cent. This is a pretty good, 50, cool 50 cent find. I thought that was pretty cool. This is Venom number one. Knights of Vengeance. Shit, anything Venom right now. This is fucking hot. So 50 cents. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. I uh, found a Marvel Point One one shot, the first appearance of uh, Sam Alexander. 50 cents. Oh, it's another Adam Hughes cover. It's one, probably one of his ugliest ones. But this is a Superman, a DC Comics Presents Superman number one. Uh, yeah, 50 cents. All right. And this is also Rise of the Midnight Suns for 50 cents. First appearance of the Midnight Suns. Uh, still poly bag, which is cool. Adam Kubert cover. Um, it's pretty good find too for 50 cents. First appearance of Plastique or Plastic or I, don't know. I like calling her Plastique. It sounds better than Plastic. <laughs> 50 cents. This is Fire. Yeah, Firestorm number seven. Uh, found another one of these. I just this is just this is an awesome McFarlane cover. This is Quasar number 14 for 50 cents. So it's my second copy. I actually found the other one for 50 cents too. So I'll pick up any McFarlane covers for cheap. So. Yep, Quasar number 14. Uh, another Adam Hughes cover that I found with 50 cents. Catwoman number 83. Yeah, yeah. Um, still 50 cents. This is Batman number 452. First appearance of Barbados. And it's a Mike Minola cover, so yeah, 50 cents. Um, 
Um, picked up Oracle number two, The Cure. Uh, this is, a, I just picked it up because it's a Gillian March cover and the cleavage. No, <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> uh, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty cool cover. All right, stick it, stick it with Gillian March, uh, Azrael number 11. So, actually, I didn't know he did uh, Azrael cover, so I was just skimming through the boxes and so I'm like, oh, that's a pretty cool cover. And then, yeah, Gillian March, pretty awesome. Um, stick it with Azrael, found an awesome jock cover. This is Azrael number three. Gorgeous Jacques cover. Love it. Love it. All right. This is a cool 50 cents find. I'm just super excited. I know uh, The Rock is going to do a sequel to this movie. I'm super excited. It's one of my favorite movies movies growing up. And this is uh, Big Trouble in Little China, uh, number one. 50 cents. Uh, pretty cool. Also, also is drawn by, uh, you can see right there, Eric Powell, too. So. I don't know if he did he just do the artwork or yeah just just the artwork I think inside and the cover so pretty awesome man I'm excited for the rock we'll see what the rock can do with the with the sequel to this movie because I love this damn movie so, all right continuing on 50 cents black cat number one just an awesome Connor cover and the last 50 cent find was this, what did I pick this up? This is Star Wars Legacy number 40. Oh, I think it's the first appearance of uh, Cade Skywalker. Cade Skywalker, so. <clears throat> Why not? 50 cents. So, uh, so yeah, and then, uh, like I said, I went through his dollar bins as well. Um, and found some, I found some decent stuff. So let me show you what I found. These are awesome dollar finds, in my opinion. So this is gorgeous. A Lucia Perillo cover. This is uh, Queen Sonia number 31. Gorgeous cover. Gorgeous. Yeah. And uh, the best uh, Queen Sonia, or one of the better covers of his on this run, is Queen Sonia number 23. And another awesome Lucia Perillo cover. Look at that Beruda. Yeah. Damn. So, <laughs> for a dollar. And I think this book actually goes, fetches like close to $40. So, that's pretty awesome. I found it for a buck. So both those covers this is yeah especially this one this is damn that's all i gotta say damn <laughs> all right and the last three books from the dollar bins are the better ones well this was probably the better i think this is the most expensive one i found but i also found uh, wonder woman number 90 which is pretty awesome this is the first appearance of artemis for a dollar check that out yard sale dollar uh also found this pretty hot book right now this is Batman Legends of the Dark Knight, number 120. I think it's the first appearance of um, Cassandra Kane in the Bat Girl suit. So I think that's what it is. But yeah. And probably the best dollar book that I found. This is pretty awesome. This is uh, Showcase 96, number three. And it's the first appearance of the Birds of Prey. So hell yeah, for a buck. I know I pulled out the box, he looked at it, he's like, yeah, he found a fucked up. He's like, oh, I left that in there. <laughs> he's like, you just take it, <laughs> whatever. So, yeah, it was cool, it was cool that he had that yard sale. Uh, like I said, I didn't find much, but, you know, this is this was definitely worth it. The, all the last five books that I showed were pretty worth it, you know, so. So, yeah. And the cool thing also is, like, uh, if you spend more than $10, he'll throw in a Silver Age, a random Silver Age comic book. So, and uh, he threw in this, pre uh, this, this is pretty cool. This is... Uh, Heroes Inc. presents Canon. So it's a Wally Wood cover. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> but yeah, we threw it in for free for spending more than ten dollars. So so I'll, I'll take it for for free ninety nine. Man, this is an immaculate condition too. Jesus Christ! I don't know why I gave this one away, but I think he had multiple. He, I think he had just a bunch of these. So, so he's just giving them away. So to people who spend more than ten bucks. I I all right. Let's move on to. My LCS, you know, my honey hole. <laughs> uh, yeah, I found some really good stuff uh, this past couple weeks. So let me show you what I got. All right, first off, this is uh, the tick. And it's in tick number one. It's the first appearance of the tick. But this is the only problem is I think it's like the fourth or it's, actually it's the fifth printing. See, I was hoping to find the first printing. That would have been amazing. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I love the tick growing up. And to have its first appearance, whether you know, regardless of its being a fifth print, it's pretty awesome, especially for a book. Check that out. We're dollar. 
I know, it's not going to really go for much, but like I said, it's the first appearance, so, so I had to pick it up. All right, moving on. Uh, LCS has these magazines too. It has mag like boxes, boxes of magazines for like a dollar. So I went through them and found a couple things. This is a, just an awesome X Men graphic novel number five. God loves, man kills, and yeah, it's just a Chris Claremont uh, uh, story. So picked it up for a buck. Pretty awesome too for a dollar. So yeah, pretty awesome. All right, moving on. Um, I picked this up because it was a, there was a signature on it. I was like, you know, why not <laughs> for a dollar? Uh, I, this is the art of Ryan Odogawa. So I'm not really familiar with his work. Kind of does like, I don't know, maybe like video game art, art concepts and stuff like that. Or I don't know. I don't. I don't know exactly what he does. But I you know I saw, saw a signature and for a dollar, why not? All right, moving on. Uh, saw this Wizard magazine, which is pretty cool, and this is Wizard one number two hundred six, an awesome um, Spider Woman cover, and you know, her holding an Iron Man uh, mask. Pretty cool. Uh, reason why I picked it up um, is because it's also it's also a Greg Horn uh, cover, so you can leave that for a dollar. Why not? That is pretty pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool cover. I used to love Wizard magazine. Pretty awesome. All right, stick with Wizard Magazine. I uh, ended up getting uh, two of these Super Obama Special Collector's Editions. Uh, uh, this is pretty awesome. And God, I miss Obama. But uh, <laughs> this is, I picked it up um, because it's Obama. And also, it's, a, it's Alex Ross. You can see the signature right there. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Still bag. Um, there's like a, it's like a Star Trek card or something in the back. But uh, yeah. So I ended up, uh, they have a bunch of these, so I ended up picking just just two of these. So, so yeah, for a buck, Obama for a dollar or two dollars. Oh, like I said, oh, I miss you, Obama. All right, moving <laughs> on. Uh, and I found these two really cool, um, uh, two more uh, magazine covers. These are old. These are called Amazing World of DC Comics. So, this one is number eight. And it's just an awesome old school comic uh, magazine. So I uh, picked it up, like I said, for a dollar because this is cool. I'm not sure who the artist on this one is. Uh, I found that one and also number number 15, which is an amazing uh, Wonder Woman, spotlighting Wonder Woman, which is pretty cool. Uh, you know, Linda Carter, very, very awesome. And the cool, the cooler thing about this particular issue, let me move this around. Um, it is, is what's on the back. So, so yeah, I, I, if you turn it upside down, I mean, <laughs> to turn it around, not upside down, that's stupid. Uh, you see Wonder Woman, more artwork by Wonder Woman, but then, but then you see right there, this is done by Neil Adams right there. So his signature is right there. So pretty cool. Yeah, this is a, a awesome find for a buck, I, in my opinion. So yeah, awesome. Spotlighting Wonder Woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, moving on to my the dollar bins for my LCS. Um, found some pretty good, pretty pretty good stuff. This is uh, West Coast Avengers number forty-five. First appearance uh, with White Vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Found Human Fly in the book. Sorry about that. Just fucked that up, didn't I? <laughs> All right. Uh, this is a classic cover. Uh, Iron Man number 150 with Iron Man versus Doctor Doom. Classic, classic. I, had, I couldn't do that for a buck. Yeah, Bronze Age goodness for a dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Couldn't pass up some Frizzin stuff for a buck. Uh, it's Wonder Woman number 12. And Wonder Woman number 11 for a dollar each. Can't pass that up for a buck. All right. Found this awesome Bill Sienkiewicz uh, variant cover. This is Wonder Woman number 40. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Very. Uh, I didn't have this cover, so I was happy to find it for, for a book. Book, book, book. All right. This is an awesome product find as well, too. Stick with Wonder Woman. This is Wonder Woman number one. And this is a newsstand version, so notice that. So very cool. George Perez cover. Love it. Love it. All right. All right, found a bunch of variants in the in my in my LC at my LCS's in my LCS's dollar bins. 
Uh, first off, this is a Invincible Iron Man number 515. This is a variant. Um, it's an ugly cover. The reason, the only reason why I picked it up, well, because it's a variant. I think this is a 1 in 25. But I saw that it's done by. Okay, that's really glossy. It says Greg Horn right there, so. Sorry about the glare. But yeah, it's a Greg Horn cover. And it's probably is what is worst. <laughs> but a variant for a 1 in 25, variant for a dollar. Can't pass that up. Alright, stick with variants. Like I said, Poe Dammer number three. Uh, just, just a bit another variant for a buck. Pick that up. This is a, I thought this was a cooler variant. This is a number four variant, Poe Dameron. For a book. I just love this layout. I'm always, yeah, pretty awesome. Pretty damn awesome. Alright. Found some found a Luke Cage variant. This is a Mike Diodato Jr. variant. Uh, yeah, Luke Cage number one. I think this is a, I think this is a one in ten, I believe. And I also found the one in twenty-five. I think this I'm not sure the ratio. Don't don't quote me, but but this is a cool one. This is Luke Cage number one as well. But this is a Neil Adams variant. So I've been picking up a lot of Neil Adams stuff, you know. So you know, he's getting up there in age. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So might as well stay ahead of it. Especially on the cheap. This is, you know, pretty cool, cool, cool cover. Not his best work, but yeah, you know, for a buck, couldn't pass it up. All right, got some Iron Fist variant of uh, goodness for a buck. This is a uh, number one, and I'm not sure who the artist is, but it's pretty cool. Pretty cool Iron Fist cover, and also stick with Iron Fist. Stick with number one is two. This is number two actually. I found two of these for a buck each, and. It's Iron Fist number two, and it's, uh, it's a Tim Bradstreet variant. So, so yeah, so found these for a buck each. Uh, it kind of sucks because I bought this one when it first came out too. I think I paid like ten bucks, but yeah. So now I got three of these fuckers. <laughs> but a pretty, what a pretty awesome variant. So all right, moving on. Found two of these. I was like, this is a uh, Superior Spider-Man number thirty-one. Awesome J. Scott Campbell cover. Check that out. Found two of them, yeah, for a buck each, and they were in mylar. I think the shit. So like, I was like, well, I'm wondering why? What was it? Why they put this in the box in mylar? So I mean, because they don't. My LCS does not put anything in mylar. So somebody must have sold something or just to them and or traded something, for them. and they just put it in the dollar bin. So so yeah, glad to take it off their hands. Got two of these bitches. I think I have another one from I bought one a while back. So maybe I have three of these too as well. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, all right, all right. It's getting better. It's getting a little better. This one I was happy to find for a buck. This is ba Batman four seventy five. Uh, this is the first appearance of Renee Montoya. So awesome, awesome uh, condition. Glad to find it for a buck. So uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've been searching for this on the cheap. And glad to find it. Finally, I was so happy when they found it at my LCS in the dollar bin. So yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I, I can't believe these were in the dollar bins too. So, so like I said, I don't know. I guess I'm. I'm I, I usually get there when they. I just know when they put out new shit on in the on their dollar bins. So I'm, I'm kind of usually the first one to go through them. So, uh, so yeah. So these were still in there. I can't believe it. This was uh, this was Iron Man number nine. It's the uh, first appearance of Riri Williams in 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 the Iron Suit. Or Ironheart for Spiritual Ironheart. So that was in there for a buck. And then this was in there for a buck. This is uh, First Appearance of Ruby Williams. So bam. Uh, both those books are super hot right now. Um, so yeah, I was so super happy to find those for a dollar. So I mean, I think I got, oh, man, I think I, I have a bunch of these actually. So I think this might be my fifth copy and this might be my, my third, I believe. And I also have the variants for both of those, so so yeah, I'm just you know this thing is blowing up because of the uh, uh, supposed like movie scripts uh, floating around Hollywood. So with that news going around, these things are going up, 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 up. So so yeah, I think uh, a Riri Williams movie would be great, or Ironheart movie. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right, and lastly, for my dollar of uh, dollar finds for my LCS, I found. Thor, God of Thunder, number two, 
Hell yeah. For a buck. And then right by high wall, there was a run of it. I only, I only picked up this one and then also this one. Also, God of Thunder number six for a dollar. <laughs> Hell yeah. The funny thing is that um, that day, actually, this same morning, I found the more. Okay, I woke up in the morning, checked the eBay, and I found a lot. And the lot had. Uh, it was a God of Thunder Thor lot, so I bought that, and then I went to my LCS, and then, <laughs> so I bought this lot for sixteen dollars, and then I went to the LCS that same day, and I found these two for a dollar each, which is hilarious. So, <laughs> so that'd be that lot that I'm telling you. So just I'm, talking, I'm not lying. So this is, uh, like I said, I bought this lot for sixteen dollars off eBay, and it came with number two, uh, number three. Number four, number five, of course, number six, which is this, this is amazing condition. All right, number seven and number eight. So I got all I got all of those for uh, for sixteen dollars, and I think it was I'm not sure maybe it was four dollars shipping too. So maybe oh, twenty dollars total. Twenty dollars. So yeah, but can't beat that, dude. That for and then also picking up those <laughs> for a dollar each was pretty hilarious. All in one day, all in a good day's work. So yeah, happy to have. I only have those in my in my collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So like I said in the past, you guys know me. I love scouring eBay. Like just like that one that I just showed you. I got that for sixteen dollars. I found another amazing uh, lot. Uh, this time around, it's uh, it's a, it's I paid sixty dollars free shipping, and uh, it can, here's a picture for for proof. So as you can see, I found another Captain Marvel <laughs> uh, lot. So uh, let me just show you what I came in that lot. So came in number one, yeah yeah, number two, three. Four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, good lord, <laughs> ten, eleven, why am I talking like that? Twelve, <laughs> and it also came with Avengers Enemy number one, but I guess it's a part one of five, this is the storyline. So that's uh, Avengers Enemy number, within number one, Avengers Assemble, part two of five, uh, part three of five, Captain Marvel 13, uh, came with number 17, 15, 16, oh man, running out of space. And of course, obviously, the reason why I picked it up um, came with number 17, of course. Uh, amazing condition, amazing condition. And but obviously, the best book that came out of that lot. It was, of course, this hot book right there is Captain Marvel number 14, uh, first full appearance of Kamala Khan. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like I said, this, this book goes, wait, I didn't say, I mean, I, I you know, in my past, it was the last, not last, my, my last, I bought the two hauls ago. I found another, same, a, a, a different lot, but it, uh, a Captain Marvel also. I, I think I got that for $40, and this one was $60. And that lot that I bought last time, I, I kept this one, but I sold the rest and made my money back. I made, I, I, yeah. So, which is actually, you know, I, I sold. I had fourteen and seventeen. I sold. I kept these two from that lot, and I sold the rest of the lot and made my money back. So I still have the seventeen and fourteen from the other lot. And so yeah. So now I have three of these bad boys, and I think I have like three, four of these bad boys. I think I have a couple on sale on, on eBay, but yeah. Uh, super happy to find that out for 60 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And uh, finally, uh, I was super happy to upgrade this comic book. This is one of my favorite covers of all time. Um, I have one already at, at a CGC 8.5, which is pretty low for me. Uh, but I was just super happy to have it because it's just one of my favorite covers of all time. And um, so, yeah, I was fortunate enough to find this, uh, get this, win this off eBay. Uh, during a time where also I, you know, I made some money off 
uh, some some sales and like you know I used I think they had like a was it a 15 percent off so I used that as well so this thing came out I think total to like I think one with the discount code and the auction winnings stuff like or not actually it was a best offer and I threw in the best offer they accepted it so but anywho this came out to $150, which I was so happy to pay that amount. Plus, uh, my money that I used to, for the stuff that I sold on eBay. So this is a uh, Harley Quinn uh, number one. And this is the Adam Hughes variant, and I, as this is one of the best covers, in my opinion, that he's done. So let me move it up a little bit so you can get there. And it's at a CGC 9.6. So. Hell yeah, I just love this fucking cover, so I'm so happy to upgrade, be able to upgrade this to a 9.6 from an 8.5. You know, I still have an 8.5, I'm not sure what I want to do with it, but just so happy to have a 9.6 in my collection, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes my comment call number 02 Trey. Uh, hit that like button, comment, let me know what you think, alright? Till next time, peace!